Okay, guys, on this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and work with the uh, Ipsky. Ipsky installs together with the uh, <coughs> sorry, with the uh, Epe. Epe is the editor for ER9X, and Ipsky is the editor for ESKY9X. Yeah. <coughs> so with the uh, Ipsky, you can save your EPROMs from your radios that run US Sky 9X radios like the uh, 9XR Pro, 9X Stream, <coughs> the Turney G 9X with the Skyboard and with uh, Turney G 9X with <coughs> AR 9X board, the new one. Okay, <coughs> but first you have to get them. So where to get Epe and Epsky? <coughs> you go here your browser and insert the following www.er9x.com yeah www.er9x.com click enter and there you go you are in the er9x and er9x homepage <coughs> now if you look here at the bottom, on the left side at the bottom, you see EPIF and EPSKY for Windows, for Linux, EPIF for Linux, EPSKY for Linux, and Mac also. <coughs> so Windows is the only one that, that ha has the, the installs the EP and EPSKY in one file. All the others you have to download separately, right? So you just click on APM Sky and uh, save to install it somewhere on your computer. I'm going. I already made a folder called APM in the download in my download folder. So just click save. It's saving, as you can see. My internet is very slow, unfortunately. Should be near ready. Internet is absolutely slow here. Okay, it's downloaded. <coughs> so now you just double click on the file to install it. Yes, so that's the uh, license agreement. Just click I agree. If you do, of course. <laughs> click next. That's the path where your app program will be installed. In my case, C program files, EP. Click install. It's installing. Next, finish launch EP. Not at this moment. <coughs> we don't want to launch EP anyway. We went to uh, EP Sky, but EP is, is similar. So, so anyway, it's installed. For now, we discard this here. And uh, now we go to the folder where you installed. Sky, so it's already here. <coughs> As you can see, program files, EP is installed. Now, here, Sky is installed together with EP inside the same directory, yeah. But you will have to create a shortcut on your desktop to uh, start easily start it. Ne? You could always come to, to this to this uh, folder here and start it from here, but it's too much work. So you just go to an installation folder. Right click on Ipsky, select to send to desktop create shortcut. You just do that. And a shortcut has been placed on your desktop. So next time you want to start Ipsky, just go to your desktop, click, double click on it, and <coughs> bump your uncle. I will start it here from the start menu. We can start. Ah, but before, <coughs> I'm going, as I said before, you can edit your models, your EPROM, you can save and back up your EPROM. You, with EPSKY you can flash the firmware to your radios and so on. So I'm going to use my NanXR Pro and I'm going to use EPE or EPSKY to download the EPROM from my, from my NanXR Pro radio. NanXR Pro radio as well as Skyboard and the AR 9X board are all Skyboard based radios. So <coughs> The 9X stream is 
a bit different. So to get into bootloader mode and connect to the computer on your skyboard based radios, like the 9XR Pro, you just plug, this is not showing on video, but I'm, I'm talking and I'm uh, explaining. Just plug your USB cable. This is, this is valid only for the new version of the firmware, the latest versions. Eh? If you have the latest version installed, if you have the old one, you have to start the radio by uh, first by uh, pressing, holding your trims, horizontal trims inwards while you turn the radio to get into bootloader mode and only then you um, connect the USB cable to the computer and radio. Here, with the new, with the latest uh, versions of the firmware, of the uh, year's kind of next firmware, you can just plug the USB and turn the radio on, go straight into bootloader mode and it will connect to the computer. Hopefully, you should connect now. Here you go. I got my EPROM drive and my SD card drives. That's for my Pro. But we don't need this. So we need to connect to IPSKY. You can also flash the firmware uh, to, to IPSKY. So, so I start IPSKY. Let's click now here. Let's configure it. Just go to preferences and select the system of your choice or the system you have. In my case, I already have it configured for the Pro. <coughs> you can also configure for Skyboard, which is uh, the Skyboard, turns with Skyboard and uh, with AR9X board. That's the Pro and that's Terranis, Terranis Plus and the new 9X Stream board. In my case, I'm going to leave it configured for the Pro. Click OK. Go to the burn menu. Configure. Make sure that use Samba. It's not checked. It's not selected. This is important. Not selected. So this is so your radio, your the App Sky can communicate with your radio through the drives. So all OK. Now you can either go to burn menu and read memory from TX from the burn menu, order, or just click this icon here and it's reading the memory. Operation successful. As you can see, I got I just downloaded the the EPROM from my radio to inside App Sky. You got all my models here, you got the configuration settings. No, I should be able to. This is the model here. Uh, my first model mixes, etc., etc., limits, voice alarms, telemetry, all configured here. <coughs> Protocol, always switches. So, see some, some logical switches here. So, this model is set up. So this model here is programmed. This is the radio settings, the general radio setup, like setup, trainer, calibration, hardware. Okay. So this is your EPROM. What, so what you can do, you can save <coughs> your EPROM. So just click with your EPROM here selected, yeah. Just click File, Save As, Bin Files, yeah. And give it a name. So, for example, uh, 9XR Pro. Oops. Pro. A prom, and then just give it a date. Like today is the fifth of Feb, February. 2015 right just click to select the folder where you want to save the place where you want to save your file keep track of it so you can find it again which is a good idea and click save it so you save your EPROM so now I'm going to eject my radio because you don't need to be draining its battery just connect it and turn it off 
And <coughs> I'm going to show you now <coughs> how you can zip your file. Many people don't know how to zip the files. So I'm going to close the, your EPROM file. So, for, for example, you can post it on the forum. Né? Sometimes it's necessary to upload the, your EPROM to the forum. So uh, other people can help you when you have some problems. It's easier when the people can see what you have done, how you programmed your model, so they can they can better help you. Né? All right. <coughs> so here I went to the folder where I downloaded my prom. I saved my prom. Sorry. And now, now me to upload this to the forum. You have to. Uh, compress it in a zip file. What you have to do is just right click on it and go down to send to compressed zip folder. Yeah. Just click on it. As you can see, you create a zip file with your EPROM inside. So now you can just upload it to the forum. Just go to RC groups or to open rcforums.com uh, and just when you need, if you need help, just upload. It's always good to upload your EPROM file. So here you got the zip file. Just upload this one. This 9XR Pro EPROM uh, with the name blah 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 dot zip. So this concludes my tutorial how to install, download and install App and App Sky and how to download your EPROM from the radio onto AppSky, save it to your computer and zip it to upload it to a forum when you need help. Um, I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful to you. I'm planning to some other pro uh, tutorials, how to flash your radio for example. Uh, as I said, the Nanex Sim radio and all the versions of the Skyboard radios uh, software uh, need to before connecting to the computer you need before connecting to the PC the cable actually you need to um, start the radio with both horizontal trims held inwards towards the center of the radio so the radio starts in bootloader mode if you have later version of the software of the firmware of your scan X except the non extreme which you have to keep doing that procedure uh, you can do all the others. You can just plug the SP cable and just turn the radio on, and the radio will connect to your computer. Don't forget always to eject the radios, your drives, from your PC before you disconnect the USB cable. Otherwise, you can get some errors, and God knows what can happen to your SD card. You know how Windows is. So, I hope you uh, understand. You uh, understand. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful to you and good luck with it and uh, I'll see you in the forums. <laughs>